They turn out really, really good. I could never hoped for this kind of result. Both the finish and the dimension is super good for being a Chinese router. I'm very, very satisfied. I, I had no faith that it would go at all. And then it came out like this it's yeah it's really good it took some time but not so long time I think the cycle time for this one is about two two and a half hours uh, I'm not sure really I'm going to do another one here but I stopped so many times and changed the cutting data but I think about Two and, a, two and a half hours. Really, really satisfied. Now time to do another one. Now it's time to mill the other side. And this time it's going to be some first roughing and adapt, LA adaptive contouring. And then we're going to try some 3D milling. First, uh, kind of regular 3D milling and uh, as a finishing touch we're going to use Morph Infusion and uh, the first two, the roughing and the rough 3D is with a 6mm carbide end mill with four flutes and the morphing I'm going to do with a 6mm full radius 
uh, high speed steel is this one. I don't have a carbide full radius yet. So let's try it out. Yeah, so it is possible to mill steel with the Chinese router, but I think the key that I succeeded is that I made a steel table, because that makes the whole machine much, much more sturdier, and that I changed the M4 bolts here to M6. So I think that's the main component to why I succeeded, but I'm super surprised that I got so good result and the key was very high RPMs uh, when I used a 5 millimeter diameter end mill uh, with three flutes I used 22,000 RPMs and uh, the feed on the adaptive clearing the feed was 850 millimeters per minute and uh, and I but I used the function to adapt the feed to radius so if it's a, the tighter radius the slower the feed that is very very important on on a machine like this that is not so sturdy because other and especially when you're using carbide end mills because they will break otherwise if they come too fast in a tight radius and the machine flex the end mill breaks instantly so use the the uh, adapted feed and also the key ingredient to succeed is a very very shallow cutting depth i only used 0 0.25 millimeters and uh, I exper experimented with different kinds, but 0 0.2 0 .2 0 0.25 millimeters in the cutting depth, and the step over on the 5 millimeter end mill, I used 1.6 millimeters. That worked very good it took some time but because the feed was quite high it uh, didn't take uh, extremely long time this took about four hours but what can you say about that it's steel in a router that sells as an engraver but uh, i tried usually when you when you using an adaptive clearing strategy the point is to have a very deep cutting depth and a very little step over but that, that didn't work at all here it was the opposite that worked and also when i 3d cut this uh, this uh, part uh, I I don't know what you call it, but in Fusion 360 I used Morph. That worked perfect. And uh, then it's it's like a vertical strategy. Strategy. <coughs> and I also tried. I think it's called 3D contour. It's a radial strategy that it goes outside and in, and that didn't work at all. 
got very much vibration. Morph worked very good with the full radius and mid. So that's the conclusion. I will probably never cut steel again. Maybe some steel plate, but never something like this. This was only for experiment and to prove that it uh, that you can do it. But if I can cut steel this good, aluminium should be no problem at all. Hope you try and experiment also and put up some videos about it. It's very fun to see what other can do. Bye.